This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Oof. The wound on the victim's head is no ordinary wound. After all, the victim sustained the wound before she was stabbed in the chest. <sighs> it does appear that way, doesn't it? The victim first suffered the head wound. If she had already been stabbed in the chest, the raincoat would have been stained with blood. Therefore, it is unthinkable that her chest was stabbed before she suffered the head wound. But there was a thing that said the head wound was suffered after she it was died. Post mortem, yeah. So the order of the wounds would be first the head, followed by the chest. However, does that really change the situation? Yes! With this, a contradiction is born. One that overturns all of our assumptions up until yes, now. Yes, I'm so glad I can be smart. <laughs> is the change really that great? I look forward to hearing it. Well then, this contradiction. Why don't you show it to me? With evidence. These people must be so bored. Yeah. They're just sitting there, they're like, can we get our Can we go to laser now? tag now? <laughs> what piece of evidence? Well, it's, it's the, the autopsy. The Boom. autopsy, yes. This is the autopsy report written by Dr. Young. According to this, the head wound was post-mortem. But that's not what the raincoat shows. Exactly. It's the exact opposite. Bailiff, hurry and summon Dr. Bonnie Young at once. Until we hear what she has to say, we cannot close the curtains on this case. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll do this, officer. Yeah. Yes, ma'am! Understood! <laughs> <laughs> he had a bad day. He sounded like he was crying. <laughs> crying! I want to go home. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> I had a really, really bad, bad day. day. Dr. Young is a busy person. It will take some time for her to arrive. In the meantime, let us have some burritos. <laughs> and let us first try viewing this case from another angle. Courtney, it's a little early for burritos. It's Let's go always, to Cracker Barrel. It is always time for burritos. Nah, Cracker Barrel, French toast. Have you ever heard of a breakfast burrito? Those suck. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> There's something that's been on my mind. Other than breakfast burritos. <laughs> One of the key figures in this case. The conductor. We still don't know who that person is. I think it's her. I think it's the Dr. Young. You think, and, oh, you think it's Bonnie Young? lady who's been wanting injections all the time. <laughs> now that you mention it, even after our investigation, we still have no idea who it is. Also, they were wearing the same colors the conductor was wearing. It's it's dressed like the conductor night. Gosh. Choo-choo. <laughs> the conductor has come up time and time again during this hearing. However, at this point in time, their identity remains a mystery. How about it? Do you have any ideas? I'm still not sure at the moment. However, there is someone I have in mind. A certain individual involved with this case who might know something about it. Who's that? Blaze the best. Whoa. I demand your testimony. <laughs> that just came out there. What? what My pops. Don't say such a stupid thing. Why would you suspect pops? I was literally... Are you trying to cast suspicion towards the chairman of the PIC? Do you understand what that means? Status and prestige mean nothing before the truth. That man is trying to pin the crime on Kay. The evidence that was in Kay's possession, the ticket stub, the mask, the corsage, these items did not come into her possession out of her own volition. By some method, that man purposefully planted them on her personage. It is hard to believe such a sudden accusation. But I'll ask just in case. Why would he do that? Obviously, to direct suspicion towards Kay. I succeeded in drawing out those words from him earlier. Mr. Chairman, your response? Dead silence. Are you too shocked to speak? And what of it? Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, what of it? You say that you drew out some words for me, but you don't have a shred of proof, you know. We have the... the prison. No one else heard it but you. It just doesn't work like that, you see. Or do you have something else? You know, some kind of a basis for your argument? This confidence. He also showed it at the cell. Logic chess. Prosecutor Edgeworth, 
I would like you to explain once more. I trust we have your permission, Mr. Chairman. But of course. I'm pretty interested in this matter myself, you know. I'd like to know just what part of me seems criminal to Edgeworth. Uh, definitely that smile. That smile. <laughs> and the fact that he can cry on command. He can cry on command. He He's a ex-member of Z-Top. Of ZZ Top. ZZ Top. He with is that ZZ beard. Top. <laughs> There's no one as honest as I am, you <laughs> see. Honest Abe. They both got the beards. <laughs> No, I, I, I see no further... Uh, no objections? Literate. How can he say that with a straight face? Let's start from the top. The fact that the auction was held in this room is a cause for suspicion. This is the PIC meeting room. I imagine it would be difficult for non-members to enter. That's why all the members have key cards, you know. <sighs> I think we can assume that multiple auctions have been held here before. Therefore, suspecting a member of the PIC would be the best. Y yes, because the conductor had to have been a PIC member. Wait, no! What? What was that all about? Well, why? What do I do, Pops? I just helped the enemy. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sebastian really is an idiot, you know. But you see, Edgeworth, I'm not the only one with access, you know. Indeed. There are 11 members in the PIC. 11! Convenient! <laughs> you know, that's the exact same number. There that, used to be 12. That, that's the exact same number that was at the uh, black market thing. Oh! Hmm, who, 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 that's, that's a pure oh, man. coincidence! Oh man, if they just had two more members in their organization 13. <laughs> yeah, but they don't have the cool hoodies. That's true. They, they, need, they need the cool hoodies. Also, like, organization 13 members are way cooler than... Judges. Blaze. <laughs> Even yeah. if we rule out the victim, Miss Crane, there are still ten potential suspects. Oh wait, never mind. There are only eleven, even including Miss Crane. Hey. Hey, not me. But, 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 but it couldn't have been the chairman, right? I don't know who it is, but whoever it is should just come for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pain's in this. Yes, yes. Everyone, just calm down. You know. Edgeworth, is that all you got? Where's the evidence to suspect me? Oh, so you've fallen silent. But you've gone too far, you see. I won't forgive you anymore. It's too late for regrets, you know. I'm a very important man, you see. Former Chief Prosecutor and Chairman of the PIC. Oh, he was the former Chief Prosecutor? Yeah. Huh. yeah. What is it with Chief Prosecutors and them being horrible people? Lana wasn't horrible. Oh, she was chief prosecutor? Yeah. Oh, right, because I kept saying I'm the chief of police. Um, that that was um, Toph. <laughs> yeah, I know, but Lana's like... Lana and old Toph are like the same. There was a bug oh, around your thanks. head. Oh, yeah. thanks. <laughs> it's fine if you're not prepared to face the fire, you know. Because you see... Fire... He's gonna run out of fluid. Either way, it won't make any difference. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Witness, looks, uh, <laughs> witness testimony, cause I'm gonna bully you. He looks like when Apollo Justice is like doing his weird shifty eye thing and they're like, I was. Oh, what was that? <laughs> this is an example of a testimony that has a really funny name. And they only get funnier in the I'm future games. Cause you. I'm gonna bully you. You've been rambling on for quite a while about mo the most trivial details, you know. Like the location of the murder, the order of the wounds, and... Uh, what else was there? It just doesn't matter, you know. Because, you see, none of that means anything, you know. Think about it. We've got the suspect herself saying she killed the victim. That's all that matters, you see. She'll even get a lighter sentence with her confession, you know. That might be why they can... They might have been, like, talk. Now then, if there are any contradictions, be my guest. How can that be considered a testimony? There must be a contradiction somewhere. <laughs> that person. He's very important, isn't he? Mr. Edgeworth, it's alright. Let's just give up. Surely <laughs> I must have killed her. Vodavar, give up! Vodavar, <laughs> give up! You saying that my speech about how you should never give up is that you got out of it that you should give up? Basically. <laughs> I must have killed her. I, I can't even remember it. 
Don't be tied down by your muddled memories. If you want to believe in something, believe in your believe in yourself, but that's the place, place to, to start. <laughs> believe I in your own innocence. That. Believe in me who believes in you. But my opponent is the PIC chairman. Taking him down won't be easy. However, he has underestimated me. If I can take advantage of that. Cool. Rebuttal, cause I'm gonna Rebuttal. bully you. <laughs> You've been rambling on for a long time now. <laughs> if these trivial details create contradictions in the case, we cannot call it the truth. It's fine as long as the rest of the case makes sense, you know. Every case is going to have a small contradiction or two, you see. But if we get bogged down by the details, we won't be able to arrest the criminal. Trials would go on forever, you see. You of all people should understand, you know. I don't. That's why I'm asking you. Ah, uh, young folks these days. Anyways, you were rambling on about stuff. Yep. Like the location of the murder, the order of the wounds, and uh, what else was there? The autopsy report and the questions about the conductor. Were you even listening? Talk is cheap, you know. I was listening, you see, but I didn't think much of it, you know. You didn't think much of it, even after I brought up all those issues? Perhaps your judgment needs to be questioned rather than my ability as a prosecutor. <laughs> That's a good one, Edgeworth. But you see... Where's Detective Gumshoe? Good question, we haven't seen him in a while. We also haven't seen Franziska in a while. Yeah. How can you say it doesn't matter? Are you trying to suppress the truth? Well, you see... It simply doesn't matter as much as you say it does, you know. You see, Edgeworth, you're only saying it matters to avoid the real issue here. Think about it, we've got the suspect herself saying she killed the victim. It may be true she confessed, however that does not make it the truth. She is suffering from memory loss, so we must question the credibility of her testimony. That's, oh. what, that's why I gave him the voice. <laughs> oh, okay, then that's fine. Even if you say that, you know, it still won't solve anything. Also, again, fan-made objection, but it sounds exactly like his Japanese one. Like his Japanese one is a Kiyori objection. Nice. <laughs> so good job good on job, that. Good job, fan-made team. What good will it do to deny her confession? Sounds like nonsense to me. I'm still blown away that this is fan -trained. Yeah. Want to try asking her again? I think she'll just say that she's the murderer again, though. Very well. Let's try asking her again, one last time. I'd like to hear from Kay herself, whether or not she is the culprit. Uh huh? From... me? Will that be alright? If this goes poorly, it will be quite unfavorable for you. I do not mind. However, I shall ask Kay the question myself. I moved to tears, you know. Oh, how touching, you know. How very touching. Fine then, I'll let you ask her. However, I have one condition. If all this proves to be a waste of time. Lights the paper on fire. Then that will be the end of it. How's that sound? Uh. The end of the hearing? Yes, yes. It seems you can be smart once in a while, Sebastian. In other words, you see, if she confesses again, Kay Faraday will be found beyond a shadow of a doubt. Guilty. Yep, it's a fine idea. Guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt? Yeah, that's right. That's harsh. But either way, if I do nothing, she'll be declared guilty. Kay? Yes? I know what I'm asking of you is unreasonable, but please, I want you to answer me. It doesn't matter how tiny it is. Do you... do you remember anything? Anything that would prove your innocence? Why? Why would you go that far for me? I... I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm too scared to remember. Because I might have done something even worse! If that were the case, I would only make things worse for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay. 
Faye Faraday must have been a despicable criminal. Someone who betrayed your trust. Don't worry. We've only known each other for a short while, like four weeks. But I know you very well. I'd even say that I know you better than yourself, now that you've lost your memories. You Whoa. cannot possibly be the culprit, because your true identity is... It'll, it'll be about this much! It's this much! <laughs> I mean, she... Your identity is the Yadagarasu. <laughs> the great thief, Yadagarasu. The Yadagarasu is a noble thief who would never stoop to murder. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's no clear evidence to prove that you're the culprit, besides your own confession. Remember what I said? You must- you must believe in yourself. Or perhaps, you cannot trust my words? No, that's not it. It's because you are trying to save someone like me. You've already lost so much. All for my sake. I can't bear it anymore. Please. Please just give up. I see now. I thought it was strange. The reason you were acting like you wanted to be found guilty was because you were concerned about me. That is just like you, Kay. It's because you're a good person, Mr. Edgeworth. All of the PIC members are <laughs> so beautiful. Like one of them's like stuffing their burrito in their mouth. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, I may fall short of your expectations. I am not trying to be a good person. No matter how much you may want me to give up, I'll keep trying to save you. That is the nature of who I am. Whether or not it is a burden for you is none of my concern. Kay, believe in yourself once more. You are a noble great thief. What you should be doubting is your memory of committing the murder. That is my wish above all else. Please. I... No! Kay! What is it? Do you remember something? Why did you just scream like that? <laughs> if she remembers something now... <laughs> It'd be like a bad movie. <laughs> Ball. Was she trying to say bull crap? No. Or something stronger? B bull? No, like a bull. Like the red attracts the bull or something. Oh. Prosecutor Edgeworth, please ask her to clarify. Uh, um, well, Kay, um, what do you mean by bull? I remember now! The person in the red raincoat had that with her. The stuffed bull doll! I'm certain of it! Is that true? Is that true, defendant? Yes, your honor. The court hereby accepts the defendant's statement as new piece of evidence. Testimony. That's also bad evidence. <laughs> Quit messing around, Courtney. A testimony like that cannot be accepted, you know. Your objection has been noted, sir. However, testimony about the victim's belongings... ...has been lacking up until now. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, her vague memories cannot be trusted, you know. Her memories are vague. That would be bad for us as well. Didn't you say this earlier yourself, Mr. Chairman? Since we have the success... <laughs> I, okay, I couldn't eat. I had all the S's and nothing else. <laughs> Darn it! I ran out of fuel for this vein! <laughs> I've just been using it too much! Come on, gotta get that last bit out. <laughs> He's been using it way too much. He smokes how many packs a day? Also, I love the little subtle detail where like, he has tears in his goggles and they're flowing around. Yeah, I like that too. Also, I think the reason his eyes look so bad is that his, his eyes are so red from crying. <laughs> yeah. Since we have the suspect's confession, we do not need to worry about the trivial details. 
if we decide to doubt her memories, then we must also doubt her confession, which is the main foundation of our case. Are you willing to do that, sir? Ah, you're right. Well, never mind then. I shall leave it to you. Thank you very much. I will kill you. <laughs> we did it. It was touch and go for a while there, though. However, those words of Judge Courtney just now... Can I look at the organizer at the bull thing? Yeah, the word... It does almost feel like she's on her side. The stop. same stuffed animal we saw in Zane Fa, uh, the Zane Fa president's plane, missing its left horn. The left horn? W was it missing the left horn in the first yeah, place? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So I was like, otherwise, it w they took it off and they were like, BAM! <laughs> and hit him. It almost feels as if she is on our side. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you know anything about this stuffed animal? The stuffed animal Case spoke of must have been this. We found it in the storeroom. It is believed to be one of the items for the auction. This is... Hmm? Do you know something about it, Justine? N no it's just a bit different from what I imagined. Indeed. It's certainly not what I would have expected the victim to be carrying. Let's examine every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Look for blood? Well, it... Beep, beep, there's something on the head. Oh, it didn't it, want it. It had it for a sec. Oh. Doop. The left horn is missing. That's K. Uh, the left horn is missing. That's definitely Kay's voice. Hmm, there's a hole in this stuffed animal. Ooh, my hand fell asleep. It seems that this hole is to where the horn is inserted into. I guess its head isn't stuffed with cotton. I wonder what's inside. Perhaps I should examine the other side. The, um, secretly, it's it's a piggy bank for the President Zhang Fa. He's like, I have five real dollars in there. <laughs> American dollars. American, Even though no, I hate America. No, it's five, five Zhang Fa dollars. Of him. Like, <laughs> Flipping you yeah. off. The right horn seems to be fine, but the entire balance feels a bit off. This horn, it looks like you can move it. What? Shook, 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 shook. What was that buzzing sound? It seems this toy is equipped with a recording device. Um, um, and the. I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. Chick. Silence, huh? I've been waiting for my chance to get revenge all this time. Ah! Is this the moment of the murder? Who could have recorded something like this? Not hard! Stuffed animal data updated. Not heart grabbed the stuffed animal was like, ooh, man, this is a cool thing. She just turned it. Th this is, there ain't no doubt about it. This here was what I heard. We cannot verify what these vo when these voices were recorded. It also po is, bleh, bleh. it's also possible that these aren't related to the case at all. If only we had some video as well. That's hogwash. I'm telling you that right there was the conversation I heard. The victim was holding on to it, right? I reckon it must have been recorded when she got attacked. That certainly is a possibility. However, your testimony alone is insufficient. I require something with a little more credibility. Again, her words. It almost sounds as if she's trying to give me advice. Judge Courtney, there's no mistake that those voices were from the incident. Please recall the audio that was recorded by the stuffed animal. I knew who you were right away. You can't hide that burn from me. If we compare this part of the recording with a certain piece of evidence, we can prove it. This evidence the shows the recording took place during the moment of the crime. There's a burn mark on the victim! Uh, oh, not that piece. No, that the is. autopsy report? And exactly what part of the autopsy report shows that? Burn mark on the victim's hand! Burn! <laughs> I was gonna show the photo of the person with the burn mark in the red we coat. Couldn't. <laughs> I remember clearly what the voice said. You can't hide that burn from me. On the victim's hand, there is a burn mark. Indeed. It just happened to match up, you see. But what of it? According to Kay's testimony, the victim had been holding the stuffed animal. 
and it just happened to record a characteristic of the victim. Namely, the burn. That's just a coincidence! I mean, it could happen, right? I do not think so. It is hard to believe that all of this is simply a coincidence. The voices on the stuffed animal were most likely recorded during the incident. One of these voices must belong to the true culprit. From what we've heard, it must have been the one who was doing most of the talking. But what's the point? In the end, we still can't tell their gender or identity, you know. Indeed, because they had been using the voice changers. It can't be helped. It seems the situation has become quite clear. The conversation Miss Hart overheard was between the culprit and Miss Crane. That's what I've been telling you from the big start. And from this, we will understand a new fact. Please enlighten us, then. I trust you have no objections, Mr. Chair. Do what you want. I'm just eating my burrito, I don't really <laughs> care. According to Miss Hart's testimony just before the incident, two people came up from the auction hall using the lift. It must have been the conductor and one of the auction guests. They probably went there to settle their payment after winning a bid. And then, it was there that the crime was carried out. Since the auction continued after the crime took place, we are led to a single truth. This is the new fact that we have arrived at. The culprit was the conductor, the culprit is Jill Crane, the victim was the conductor. Oh, um... I haven't been making the... The culprit? The culprit would be the killer, right? Yes. The culprit is the conductor. Since the conductor was the only one who could keep the auction going, we can conclude that the deceased victim could not have been the conductor. Um, Justine? Please be quiet here, okay? <laughs> She's like a stern mother. If the conductor was not the victim, then they must have been the culprit. Maybe that's why she's, like, hanging out <laughs> with him. It's like, he doesn't have a mother figure in his life. Maybe that's she's, true. Like, helpful. And his dad seems like he's a pretty scumbag oh, his person. his dad's a scumbag! Yes! <laughs> Chain smoker. <laughs> Chain smoker berates his son. Calls him an idiot. All in front time. of other people! In front of other people and to him. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a terrible father. Yeah. <laughs> Please wait. That alone is insufficient. Of course. Even I do not intend to rely only upon the process of elimination. Certain traces left at the crime scene led me to believe that the culprit is the conductor. Well then, please show it to us. What were the traces left at the crime scene that led me to deduce the culprit is the conductor? Um, what were the traces? Was it the luminol stuff? Blood on the... Blood there was on blood on the floor. Blood 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one? Oh, um... There's blood on the hidden lift, there was blood in the costume trunk. Oh. There's blood in the meeting room floor. <laughs> blood everywhere. There's blood on the satellite, blood on the ground, there's blood everywhere, great big pool of blood all around. I need to hear that <laughs> song after we're done with this recording. Um, we haven't talked about the costume trunk at all. No. Nope. This is the piece of evidence that shows the culprit is the conductor. Um, I don't quite understand. Humph. Even if you don't understand, everyone else certainly does. <laughs> I think there are people besides my idiot son who don't understand, you know. <laughs> no! Seems that wasn't it. We wanted to hide something. Uh, uh the the masks. Uh, is it the the jam ninja? I don't think so. Is it the meeting room blood? It yeah. might be on the, the lift. On the lift. Nope. No? Meeting room? I thought it was. It's meeting room blood, the meeting room blood, the meeting room blood. Meeting room blood, blood and all right. <laughs> the culprit purposefully left a large amount of blood in the meeting room. In doing so, we were led to believe that the meeting room had been the scene of the crime. It was a ruse by the true culprit to hide the blood that had fallen from the storeroom. So we wouldn't find out about the existence of the black market auction, correct? Oh yeah, duh. Indeed. If the culprit had been unrelated to the auction, there would have been no need to do such a thing. Ergo, the culprit could only have been the conductor. Well then, do you have any ideas to who the conductor might possibly be? You've already said- It's Sir Topham Hat. 
The auction hall is the PIC meeting room, and furthermore, there is a storeroom above it. <laughs> the conductor must have been, at the very least, a member of the PIC. It's not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, in other words, you suspect me, I take it. Well, I'm doing that, like, fur dance with the bug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what he's doing? Oh, wait, that guy's awesome! <laughs> that guy's awesome! Isn't it natural to suspect you, the one with the most authority in the PIC? Objection. You are quite capable. I'll give you that much, at least. But, you know, like I said before, you're far too naive. He's gonna throw Courtney under the bus. She'll be like, excuse me! <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, he's gonna throw his lighter at us. <laughs> you have nothing, you know? There's no evidence that proves I am the culprit, you see. If by some chance you do have evidence, then why don't you present it? Ugh. Do I have evidence that Blaze is the culprit? I have it. I don't have it. Um, the only thing I could think of was jacket plus physique equals No, that, Blaze. that ain't That, that ain't, ain't it. That ain't evidence. Then probably not, then. Blaze himself has suggested that he is the criminal. He's been showing that strange self-confidence for a while now. He knows that there is not a single piece of evidence left behind to incriminate him. Ha ha ha! If you play with fire, you're gonna get burned, Edgeworth, says the guy who's playing with the lighter. He's playing with fire. Just kidding. I always wanted to say that, you know. Well then, Courtney. It's for uh, uh, I reckon I just remember something too. Thanks, Lana, for always remembering something later. What? Uh, you also lost your memories? <laughs> nah, that ain't it. Something just popped in my head right now. Very well, please tell us. Objection. Courtney, could you tell me what you are doing? Prosecutor Edgeworth will not give up until we have destroyed every last possibility. I'm destroying every possibility. So that he will never oppose us again. Justine, I, I don't really know what's going on, but well said. <laughs> <laughs> Pops, I'm gonna help too. After all, he's the one who's wrong. Fine then, let's hear what she has to say. It's but she's been testimony. in too many cases. Come on. It's a lot of heart testimony, a lot of heart testimony. Dude, dude. A lot of heart testimony. Why can't we bring back someone actually cool? Like, I don't know, Lana Sky, she was pretty awesome. How about how about the sheriff guy from Rise from oh, the, the, the Jake Marshall, man, yeah, he was cool. He was cool. We could bring back Penny. How about, actually bring how back about Penny? that guy who likes large bananas? I forget his name. Mr. Wellington? <laughs> Richard Wellington, that's right. Well then, Miss Hart, please proceed. Sure thing. Just leave it to me. Please make sure you only tell the truth. Ain't that matter of course. I'm a bona fide journalist of justice, you know? Somehow I feel uneasy. Y'all saying the culprit was the conductor, right? That means the victim was a customer. Now, here's where it gets a mite strange. You see, there were 11 people at the auction. When the auction continued after the incident, I went straight on over and snuck a peek down below. You, you don't mean... <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. All 11 people were still there. Present and accounted for. But what? Are you sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. I saw it with my own two eyes. Um, so it started with 11 people and there was still 11 people after the murder? As, as Max <laughs> Ruby says, it was a bad counting day. <laughs> was it a ghost? You know, Sebastian, normally a prosecutor would call that a contradiction, you know. W were there really no changes in the auction at all? Really? I'm telling you. The auction just went on like normal. They probably just got a fat head. <laughs> to put on the stand. <laughs> they put the blue badger in next dun, to the, dun, 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 ne dun, next dun, to the guy that had dun. the blue badger mask. And it's like, eh, it's the same person. Ah, <laughs> uh, but there was one itty bit thing, though. What was it? You know those hammers you always see at an auction? Like the one that lady's using over there. An auction gown, perhaps? Yeah, that's the one! All of a sudden, I couldn't hear the sound no more. It'd been banging away just prior to it. The sound of the gavel? Does that have anything to do with the case? Lotta's testimony updated in the organizer. 
I'm glad nobody wanted to uh, cross-examine her. If Miss Hart's testimony is the truth, then this matter has taken a grave turn. If the victim was neither the, de the conductor nor a customer, the very foundation of the prosecutor Edgeworth's reasoning would collapse. Nah! Justice prevails, as they say. I hope you've learned your lesson, Mr. Edgeworth. My thing is, like, um, <laughs> if the gavel stopped, maybe the person who's the conductor, like, came back and just pretended to be the, the victim. And then they're like, man, the conductor's taking a long time in the bathroom. <laughs> and then they were finally, like, just continued going on without the gavel, maybe. <laughs> they just took over the auction. They just took over. It's like a mob. <laughs> oh, look, it really is Kay. She's asking if there's anything we can do. Mr. Edgeworth, there's nothing we can do. It's not over yet. Some mysteries still remain. Man, Kay sucks. I have to, <laughs> I have to <laughs> think. Says that? If I don't, then Kay will be... Did you get the answer you wanted this time? Well, then a deal's a deal. No. Well, people, please stop interrupting me. <laughs> please wait, Mr. Chairman. I believe it is still too early to make a judgment. There are still a few mysteries left in this case. Until we have solved them all, we cannot call this a complete victory. Isn't that right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was expecting you to shout. Hold it! Like you always do. D yes of course. Once again, Judge Courtney has come to my aid. Well then, what is it? What sort of mysteries are left? I don't know. Well, of course, there's the contradiction in the autopsy report. That kind of thing. Oh, my brother is... <laughs> What's wrong? Why were we suddenly called here? Did someone suddenly get sick? I'll begin preparing a compressed or- Ow! What'd you call me here for? Did something happen? <laughs> Dr. Young, Miss Jensen, you have my gratitude for taking the trouble to come here. This won't take long, so please relax. You don't understand, I missed my Arby's! <laughs> I had my order in line and then I had to leave early. <laughs> it's oh. still waiting there. <laughs> I need my beef and cheddar! I need my beef and cheddar and my, uh, what, what are those And shapes? horsey sauce. Hor horsey sauce. They were like in the drive-thru <laughs> and then the guard comes running by. Oh, we got your cherry turnover to go! <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the cherry turnover at Arby's? I've never <laughs> even heard of it. <laughs> why are we always talking about food? I don't know. Tell me what in blazes is going on. <laughs> of course, we called you here because something came up. Judge Courtney, just what are you planning? Did it. Bonnie Young, under the divine rule of the law, please answer truthfully. There were no mistakes in your autopsy report, correct? Granny would never make a mistake! That's certainly strange. Ah, uh, what's strange? This court has found an error in Dr. Young's autopsy report. Dr. Young, please tell the truth. Did you falsify the autopsy report? That's terrible! How can you accuse her of that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would I do such a thing in the first place? To protect the true culprit, of course. What you talking about? I would never do such a thing! How strange. In that case, why would there be an error in the autopsy report, I wonder? Prosecutor Edgeworth? What do you think? Oh, I expected you to press into her statement like you normally do. Why is she taking control of the situation and trying to help me? I don't know what her goal is, but I must play along. If the autopsy report you gave to Sebastian had been authentic, then the error should not have been there. What? Wait a minute! I didn't do anything! That is what we will figure out from this point on. Firstly, Dr. Yun, I'd like to hear your testimony. What do you want to hear her testimony? It would be pointless! I will be the one who decides whether or not it is pointless, not you. There are patients waiting for us. But, Granny, ow! Anyway, we don't have time for this. 
there any way I could convince you? This is of the utmost importance. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, Granny says she'll testify. So please, try to finish this quickly. Yeah, Arby's waits for no man. If we don't return soon, then our Arby's will be so, so cold. I didn't see the rest of it. <laughs> Those poor people will be suffering. <laughs> and yet, you were lollygagging about on the viewing platform earlier. I promise you, this won't take long. Only if she tells me the truth, of course. That's a big if. All right, well, we're finally going to end the episode here. Because... Ooh, the autopsy. I thought we were going to get to to be continued, but no, apparently... There's one to be continued in case five that's literally... It's like five hours long between them. It, not actually, but it, it's Feels really, really long. really long. This isn't case five, though. This is case no, this four. is case four. I didn't think there was a long one in this. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. Hopefully, we'll get to the next to be continued. And we're going to hear Granny's testimony. Yep. Sunny. Until we meet again, my friends, have good. a great day and God bless.